in this uh, section we will talk about certain important terms like heart rate, stroke volume and cardiac output. So let us take all these three uh, terms and understand what they mean. First is heart rate. Now to define it, it means the number of heartbeats per minute. Number of heart beats per minute. This is known as the heart rate. And we have seen the cardiac cycle. It gets completed in less than one second, that is 0.8 seconds. So in a normal healthy adult, in a resting state, our heart rate is 72 times per minute. So in a minute, our heart beats 72 times. This is known as the heart rate. So heart rate means the number of beats or number of times the heart contracts per minute. And this heart rate, it can change under certain condition. So heart rate increases during exercise During exercise it increases, during fever, if a person has high temperature, then also it increases. And the third situation when this heart rate goes up are certain emotional uh, conditions like fear or anger. So during emotions. Now what are the reasons? Why does the heart rate increase? During exercise, it increases to supply that much extra oxygen which is required to generate ATP. This is to increase blood supply. That is why during exercise the heart rate increases. During fever, during fever uh, the factor is temperature. As temperature increases, it affects our natural pacemaker that is SA node. One degree rise when the temperature rises or when we say when the temperature increases by one degree. The number of heartbeats increase about 10 per minute. So increase in heart beats per minute is 10. So if the body temperature rises by 1 degree, the heartbeat would go up by 10. So instead of 72, it would be approximately 82 and so on. So temperature affects SA node. That is why during fever, the heart rate is high. During emotions like anger or fear, adrenaline is released. And this increase is due to adrenaline due to adrenaline. This adrenaline, it is a neurotransmitter also as well as a hormone also. So our nervous uh, system also regulates our heartbeat during certain emotions. So these are the conditions when the heart rate increases. Another important thing is heart rates of different uh, species of animals are different. And it has been found that smaller animals have higher heart rate. For example, if we talk of smaller animals like rabbits or rats, the heart rate, say if we talk of rat, it is about 200 times per minute. And bigger the animal is, the lesser is the heart rate. So if we talk of animals like elephants, so bigger an animals, bigger have lower heart rate. And if we take the example of elephant, in case of elephants, its heart beats 25 times per minute. And 
So here we have two examples. Larger the animal, lesser is the heart rate. Smaller the animal, higher is the heart rate. And the reason is metabolic rate. Smaller animals have higher metabolic rate. Larger animals have a slower metabolic rate. And higher the metabolic rate, more is the requirement of blood to supply nutrients and oxygen. So if it's smaller animal like rat has higher metabolic rate, it would require more of oxygen, more of nourishment. So the heart rate is more. In case of larger animals, because their metabolic rate is low, the requirement of oxygen, nutrients is also less. So heartbeat is less. Then, in case of human beings also, during different stages of life, the heart rates are different. So if we add one thing here, this is of a normal healthy adult. So this is for normal healthy adult. Now if we have to just compare what is the heart rate in a newborn. So in a newborn, it is normally 130 per minute. Normal we have already written and in old people when they get old all the activities are slowed down. So in old people it is less about 60 times per minute. Our heart rate is also slowed down when we are lying in lying down position. It is all totally need based. If your body requires more oxygen more nourishment heart is going to pump faster to supply oxygen and nutrients. So this is the heart rate. Now the second important thing which we need to understand is stroke volume. Stroke volume is the volume of blood which is pumped out of the heart in the systemic circulation. Now, four compartments of heart, we have seen right and left compartments. The pumping compartments are ventricles. And the ventricle which is pumping the blood into aorta, because the aorta is going to take the blood to all the body parts or in systemic circulation. So, our definition is going to be, stroke volume is the volume of blood, volume of blood pumped out, of the heart from the left ventricle. This is important because left ventricle is the one or is the chamber which is going to pump the blood out into aorta and this is the blood which is actually going into the body parts. The right ventricle also pumps the blood but that is only for oxygenation going into the lungs. So stroke volume is the volume of blood which is coming out of the heart for systemic circulation and the chamber which is going to pump it is the left ventricle and this volume is 70 milliliters. So stroke volume is the volume of blood pumped out of the heart or in other words we can say volume of blood which is pumped by the left ventricle. And that volume is 70 milliliters. So every time the ventricle contracts, it is pumping 70 milliliters of blood. So volume of blood pumped out of the heart from left ventricle every time it contracts. And this volume is important. So whenever we talk of stroke volume, the thing that we have to remember is one, the volume, actual volume plus. It is the volume of blood which is coming out of the heart for systemic circulation or the volume of blood which is pumped by only the left ventricle because this is the blood which is going to go into the body parts. The right ventricle pumps the blood but it is only for oxygenation going to the lungs. Now the third important term where we are to need this stroke volume is cardiac output. Cardiac output is the volume of blood 
pumped out of the heart again by this left ventricle in a minute. This was every time it contracts. That means per beat we were talking of. This is the volume of blood pumped out of heart that is again from the left ventricle per minute in a minute so here we are going to need two things in a minute how many times does our heart beat so that is 72 times that is our heart rate so in a minute 72 times our heart is going to pump the blood and every time it pumps or contracts, the blood volume which is going to come out is 70 milliliters. So this is our heart rate and this is the stroke volume. So if we multiply this, we would get somewhere around 5040 milliliters. That is about 5 liters of blood is pumped by our heart out per minute. So approximately it's going to come to 5 liters. This is cardiac output. So three important things. Heart rate, the number of times our heart beats in a minute is known as heart rate. And we have seen various conditions when this heart rate changes. And in different animals also it is different depending upon their metabolic rate. Stroke volume is the volume of blood which is pumped out of the heart from its left ventricle every time the heart beats. And that volume, again, all the figures which we are taking are normal healthy adult. That is 70 milliliters. Cardiac output is volume of blood pumped out of the heart, again, through left ventricle. We are talking of blood going out to the body parts per minute. That would give us the cardiac output. And how do we calculate this cardiac output is heart beats per minute, that is our heart rate. And every time when heart beats, it is 70 milliliters which is going to come out. So if we calculate it, it's going to come to 5040 milliliters or approximately 5 liters of blood is pumped out of the left ventricle in a minute. So these three are very important terms and the values which we have taken are all for normal healthy adult. These values change if there are certain kind of complications or there are certain situations. Like here we said during exercise the heart rate is going to increase. So if this number increases obviously this value is also going to change. So depending upon the conditions, these values change, but the normal values are taken as these values which we have written.